so today we're going to talk about Zoom video editing. Uh, I had a couple questions this week, and it's actually something that I encountered quite often. It's kind of annoying, right? You you want HD video, and so you hop into Zoom, and you're like, oh, I'm going to record a video interview with somebody, or maybe just you and somebody else wants to do a video promo, or you and somebody on your team want to do record a video for real estate or for whatever business you're in. And when you get the video from Zoom, what happens is, if it's just you and another person, right, you have 16.9. So let's imagine 16.9. This is my phone cover. 16.9 here, right? And you have another 16.9 together. There's no way that both of those, uh, when it's formatted like that, could be on the screen. And so what they do is they letterbox it. It's called where you have the videos down like this. And then you have black on top, black on bottom. Now, for me, I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. So I'm going to share my screen over here. Show in the stream. And for some of you, I'm going to try to flip the, the camera around over here on Instagram so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. But let me show my screen one second. I'm going to go like that. And then we're going to go picture in picture. Other way. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to just flip this around here for you guys on Instagram. Cancel. Okay. So you hopefully you can see some of that. Yeah, you can. All right. So here I have my IG program or my IG program. This is Movavi Video Suite. I use Movavi Video Suite uh, for 99% of my video editing. And so I'm going to just hold that there for those of you. Give me one second on Facebook. Let's see the best way for me to do this for you. All right. All right, my Instagram friends, you're going to have to just tune in on Facebook. You go to facebook.com, facebook.com slash jmanspeaks. You can get the full effect. It's too hard for me to hold the phone and then also do what I'm doing. So go to Facebook. We really appreciate you. Jeremiah's Jay Manmano, Jay Man Speaks. All right. Man, it's so hard multitasking, even though I love it. Okay, so here I am with Movavi Video Suite, and I'm going to go to some files that I've already imported today. I thought I imported today. Yeah, here they are. They're in my media bin. Okay, so this is a Zoom that I recorded with Christopher Abbasis. This was a welcome video that we did for our social ninja group. Hopefully you're on there sometime, right? Uh, hold on a second. Come over here and I'll give you one quick little... Go ninja, go ninja, go, go ninja, go ninja, go. Here we go. Let that play. Go ninja, go ninja, go, go ninja, go ninja, go, go ninja, go ninja, go, 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 go. So I'm going to bring the video down in here. Oh. Let that load for a second. Okay, so I'm going to just bring the video over. And for those of you who've used Zoom before, um, I discovered, you know, they, they actually did downgrade the the resolution of the video. It used to be HD quality. Now I think it, it it's back. You have to make sure that under your advanced meeting settings, you have group HD video checked. I will say that if you have low uh, bandwidth, you don't want that checked because... You can have issues. Um, now, I am part of an enterprise group with the National Speakers Association. We actually have group HD video, but then we can choose between 720 and 1080p. So if you're part of that group, um, make sure that you check 1080p so you can get that nice, crisp HD video. Okay? All right, so here's what the video looks like. Now, if you're recording a video by yourself, let me just – that's what it looks like. Very exciting, right? Um and so what I did is I created these overlays. There's two different ways you could do this. Um, and, and I went over this in a separate video that I created about how to create overlays. But you could hop into Canva uh, and then just do a square where you want your video to be and then cut it out. 
and make that transparent. Um, I use Preview on Mac, but you could do that on just about any photo editing program. Select an area that you want to cut out, hit delete, and now it's gone. Now you have an overlay, right? Because when you're talking about videos, there's just layers of things. So you want your overlay to be overlaid on your video itself. Let me demonstrate. Okay, so for this video, there's a couple things. I'm not going to go into it too much, but everything I do on Zoom, there's always the intro part of it that needs to be kind of trimmed off. So I'm going to come in here and go like this and go, okay, this is where we started. Right around here. Boom. I hit the little scissors. I'm cutting the film. Pew, pew, pew. Cut that. Cut that. Cut that. Cut that. Uh. All right, delete it. What's the cost for Movavi? Yes, uh, Lisa. So Movavi is actually. It was cheaper, but of course, pandemic, everything video related now has has skyrocketed in price. But it's only $84.99, I believe, uh, for Movavi Video Suite. It's for the entire uh, video suite on, on Windows. But if you have a Mac, you have Movavi Video Editor, and then you have Movavi Screen Recorder, then you have Movavi uh, Video Converter, three different programs. For Windows, it's all in one program. Uh, but all in, you're looking at $84.99. It's a one-time purchase. There's no yearly licensing fee, which is what I love about it. A lot of the video programs, you try them, and you're like, oh, I really like this. And then you have to renew every single freaking year. Uh, Animoto's like that. Um, a lot of the other movie maker type programs are like that. And, you know, we get licensed feed to death, so I, I like to try to keep the cost down if I can. All right, so I've trimmed that. Now, you can see this is the whole video because... It's the interview side by side, but then you have the letterbox, the black on the bottom and the top. Um, I've already created my overlay. Again, I, I told you because it's overlaying that. I'm going to bring it over here. Whoops. I don't want it in front. What I want, you see how it's a layer. I want it on top. See what I'm doing here? And I want it the whole length of the video. Boop. So like that. Okay, now, okay, I'm going to look at it and go, man, it don't, it's not exactly where I want it to be. So then I can come in here and go, okay, overlay, and I can adjust the size of this. Make sure that it's centered. Boom, and that little line tells me it's centered. Come back over here. Okay, and again, I'll, I, I can keep doing that until it's perfect. Uh, that's one way to do it. Second way to do it, let me get rid of this overlay. You can see how like whatever your video is about, whatever you want to make it nice, whatever branding, whatever website, whatever you want, you can wrap it around that video. Uh, your other way to do it, if I delete the overlay here, give that a second. Your other way to do this would be to... I'm going to go like this again, tools. I can make this bigger, but that's, you know, it's, it's almost going to be next to impossible unless both of you, unless your, your person you're with is screen right or stage right and your stage left. Uh, because what happens is when you make it that big, you can disappear off the screen if you want it to be full screen. Uh, your other option would be to crop it. Make this smaller. Okay, it's not all the way small. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. See this little button here? That's crop. Go like this. I can say, okay, I want it to be cropped. It's automatically gonna do whatever dimensions you are. You see how I'm on 16.9? It could be 4.3, it could be 1.1, one, one, it could do 9.16. 9.16 16 you do for Instagram or IGTV. If I want to crop it, I'm going to bring it over like that. That might work. It cuts off a little bit, and then I might have to make it a little bit bigger. Let me try that. I hit return, apply. Okay, that made us a little bit bigger. Now you could see, because it's HD, when you crop, you're actually zooming in on the video. So you want it to be as HD as possible. If, it, if this was like a 480 or four, whatever is for something, lower resolution, when you zoom in, you're going to get pixelation which is not what you want. Um, let me see, let me take this a little further. 
I zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so I could do that. I can, again, I could keep doing that until I, I, I have it where I want it. Um, you ever make a mistake in this? Woo! I'm gonna rotate that. Hold on. Upside down, sideways, the other way. Okay. So if I go backwards like this, do, 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 do. Oh, come on. Enough already. There we go. So if you make a mistake, you can go like this and say, okay, I want to undo my mistakes, which is the editing. If I want to just delete it all together, delete it like that, I'm going to go back into my media bin and bring it back. Okay. Now, let me show you the second way you can do this, which is uh, I did this yesterday because it was kind of in a hurry. I didn't want to do an overlay necessarily, but I wanted to make it look a little bit better. So I came in here again. I'm going to chop that, look at, delete that, like we did already. Now I'm still going to crop it like I did earlier. Go crop. But this time, I'm going to custom dimension it. So I'll go like this which means it may not be proportioned properly for 16.9, you know, the widescreen of, of the video that you're doing. So I'll go like that, and I'll hit apply. So now what I've done is, is I've cut the actual video out of that black box above and below. And I'm going to hop in here and I'm going to go backgrounds and city. Pick a nice background. I like sunset. Come back over here. Like that, like that. Hold up. Wait a minute. Bring that up here, like that. Bring that down and this up. Then I'll do overlay. Okay, so you can see that's the background. And now our video is on the background. Whoop, whoop. I know I made it look easy, but this is being recorded so you can watch this back again and again. But remember, these are just layers. So what I did was I created a layer, a background. That background could be any image you have, but don't make it too busy, right? It could be any image that you have. And uh, this gives you additional ad space, if you will, because it looks better. I can come in here and I can go, okay, give me a sticker for this. Bang. Okay, I'll go in here like this. I'm going to put that down here. Okay, what I'm doing there is adjusting the length of time. That it shows up. So I go like this. Let's see what happens. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so that's I put that there, but you could I'm da, 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 da. Whoa. Stared me for a second. <laughs> oh it's I can't is your mic on? Oh. Is this thing on? Hello. Hello. Beatrice, are you? Okay, you get the idea. I don't want to belabor the point there. I'll stop sharing that. Um, and then when, I, when I'm all done, I will just go file, save movie as a media file, MP4. There's a couple little more things that I would do. Uh, I would fade it to black at the end. I might add an intro in the beginning with text. But it's that simple. Would that take me 15 minutes if I wasn't really showing you how to do it? So let me stop. To share on that and bring it back to the full screen. Okay. Well, that's it, folks. I don't see any other questions formulating anywhere. But if you're watching this on the playback, feel free to post any of your questions there. I'd be happy to help you out. Again, this is how to edit videos in Zoom or the videos you get from Zoom. So it's after they're already recorded. Okay, this is Jeremiah's J-Man Manero, J-Man Speaks. Make it a great day.